Hello Multiholics, welcome back. Today I am going to share with you another one of my Lava series. This time we are going to make Boba Taro Lava. And for the base we are going to use green tea. Any of your favorite green tea is fine. We are going to use powdered taro. Well, this is the only one that I could get. You can use any brand that you have available in your market. So I'm using this brand here. And I'm going to use my milk syrup. And for those that do not know yet, milk syrup is a combination of evaporated milk and condensed milk. For the milk syrup this time, I'm going to use two cans of condensed milk, about 300 grams here, and one can of evaporated milk. So about 600 milliliters of condensed to about 300 milliliters of evaporated milk. It is going to be sweet. And for my sinkers, I'm going to use my purple tapioca pearls, perfect for my boba taro lava. Let's get started. We're going to start by preparing our tea. For the tea, the base is green tea. You may also use black tea as your base. I am going to use a large batch because I'm going to use it for three cups. We're going to make 22 ounces, 16 ounces, and because I don't have a 12 ounce cup, I am going to make eight ounces. So just for those that would like to make this as small cups, here is another recipe for you. In a medium pot, bring 1.5 liters of water to a boil. You may multiply the proportion for larger batches. Once the water starts to boil, add the green tea leaves in. Stir them in. Turn off the heat. Put on the lid and steep for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, train the tea leaves out. If your yield is less than 1.5 liters, Add plain water to bring the mixture to 1.5 liters. Add the non-dairy creamer. This time, we are not adding any sugar as the sweetener will be with the lava mix. Combine well and make sure the creamer is fully dissolved. Get the bubble on top of your mix. For the recipe, I am going to get this from my book, All Things Milk Tea. For the 8 ounce cup, we need 1 tablespoon of taro powder, 1 ounce or 30 milliliters of milk syrup. Mix to combine and come up with a rich, thick taro lava. Next it is for the 16 ounce cup. We need 2 tablespoons of taro powder. 1.5 ounce or 45 milliliters of milk syrup. Mix to combine, making sure you get the size too. Finally, for 22 ounce cup. This time, we need three tablespoons of taro powder. Two ounces or 60 milliliters of milk syrup. Mix to combine. Moving on to assembling our drinks. For the 8 ounce cup, start with a scoop of the purple tapioca pearls. Fill the cup with ice. Pour 75 milliliters of milk tea and pour the lava over. Next, the 16 ounce cup. Start with a scoop of the purple tapioca pearls. Fill the cup with ice. Pour 150 milliliters of milk tea and pour the taro lava over. Finally, for the 22 ounce cup, purple tapioca pearls at the bottom of the cup. Fill the cup with ice. Pour 180 milliliters of milk tea and pour the taro lava over. We are all done. Time to find out how they taste like. 
Taro is always a bestseller, so make sure you have this in your menu. If you have a milk tea shop, you must have a Taro milk tea. Lava, perfect. With purple tapioca pearls, even more perfect. Mmm, delicious. I love the chewy tapioca pearls. Well, there you have it, a new recipe, a new menu for your milk tea. This is boba taro lava with green tea as your base. This is just taro milk tea presented in a different way using a lava design. So try this in your milk tea shop and let me know how they go for you. In the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button below, like, comment, and share the love. Stay safe as always. Take care. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.